hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so guys in this video we'll be learning about how we can fine tune this florence 2 on our custom data so guys if you check my youtube channel i already created uh, multiple video about this uh, florence 2 like how we can use this florence 2 uh, uh if i want to perform any kinds of computer vision task even i already showed you how we can uh, let's say uh, do the auto labeling task let's say you want to perform the auto uh, labeling okay auto image labeling so what you can do you can use this a florence to multi model okay so i already created some tutorial on my youtube channel let me show you so guys as you can see i already created uh, some tutorial like how we can perform automatic data labeling with the help of florence 2 even i already created uh, one dedicated video about this florence 2 like what are the tasks actually we can perform with this model so many of you have requested me uh, for this video actually how we can perform the uh, fine tuning operation let's say if i have any custom data let's say you are having some custom data and you want to fine tune this model okay this uh, florence uh, vision multi model so how we can perform it so in this video actually i will uh, show you how we can perform the fine tuning operation so see guys i have already prepared uh, notebooks so here i have already written all the steps actually you need to perform so the first thing just try to uh, connect with your let's say gpu so i already connected let me show you if i go to my run type see it is already connected now let's connect my notebook so see guys the data set actually i'm going to use uh, this data set is from actually roboflow so i'm using roboflow universe uh, to get the data why because i already told you uh inside roboflow universe you are having all kinds of data all kinds of actually annotated data so you don't need to manually label those data see it is already annotated all kinds of data it is available let's say you want to perform object detection just search with object detection you will get all kinds of data so from this roboflow actually i'm going to use one data set now uh, this is the object detection data set guys you can see so this data set is having actually different different uh, label so guys uh, you can see this is one actually oscilloscope data set so here we'll be detecting different different let's say device oscilloscope device let me show you first of all let me download this data from the roboflow universe for this just click on this download data set now select the yolo v5 fighters format and show the code just click on continue and copy this code snippet okay copy this code snippet and go to the notebook but before that let me install the roboflow because uh, because if I want to download this data from the Roboflow universe, I have to use this code snippet. For this, I need this Roboflow package. See, it is downloaded. Now, just try to paste this uh, code here, whatever code you have copied. Now, see, this is the API key and all. So, with the help of API key, actually, it will authenticate with your account. So, make sure you have one account, okay, in the Roboflow universe. Otherwise, it won't be working. Now, see, let me download the data. See, it will automatically download the data from the Roboflow universe. So, guys, as you can see, data is downloaded. Now, if I refresh, so this is the data and if i show you the labels actually so it is having different different levels you can see dc power supply digital multimeter digital uh, trainer then uh, function generator and oscilloscope okay that means we are having uh, five classes okay in this particular data now you can also see the images so in the training folder you have the images as well as the labels see images and levels it is uh, available so you can open up you can see as of now i'm not going to open it now see if you want to use actually florence 2 model so you have to uh, prepare your data in a specific format because you can see the data set we have downloaded this is the yolo format but i have to convert it to florence okay florence actually data format so let me show you the florence data format so here is the data format guys you can see i think this image is visible so you can see here uh, so it should be a kinds of dictionary you can see it should be a kinds of dictionary inside that uh, it should have the image okay see this is the image complete image then it will have the prefix prefix means what kinds of tasks you want to perform let's say i want to perform object detection here i want to train one object detection model okay object detection task uh, uh, with this uh, florence model okay that's why i've given od then you have to give another parameter called suffix what is the suffix suffix means the classes name so you can see digital trainer or whatever classes you are having then you have to give the location that means the bounding box location okay bounding box location so this is the bounding box location i think you can see if i open up any kinds of txt file I think I cannot open the validation one. See, this is the bounding box location. Okay. So what we'll try to do, we'll just try to convert this YOLO file format to the Florence 2 format. Okay. So that means we'll be creating these kinds of format. Okay. These kinds of format data. So for this, what I have done, guys, I have just written a function. You can see parts YOLO annotation. So this particular function will try to convert to the Florence data format. And guys, uh, one thing here, you just need to replace. See, uh, here we are actually uh, mapping with our id so i think you remember i opened the data.yml file there actually we had different different level like uh, dc power supply digital multimeter okay and in that data.yml file actually these are the classes had some order like dc power supply uh, was at the very first position then digital multimeter then digital trainer then a functional 
uh, generator and oscilloscope okay that's actually you need to create the label that means id now you can see dc power supply was at the very first that's why it's zero then digital meter then uh, then actually you can see uh, digital trainer then a uh, function generator and oscilloscope that's how you have to give the label okay you have to give the id because with the help of this id actually it will map it will map whether it's a dc power supply whether it's a digital multimeter whether it's a digital trainer or anything so not only this one if you are using any kinds of data any other kinds of data let's say dog versus man versus let's say animal that time you can map like that so these particular things actually you need to only change otherwise everything will remain same okay i hope it is clear now see here you have to specify the location now let me show you the location see first of all i'll do it for my training data so let me uh, un uh, comment this one and this me let me uncomment this one okay now see this is the training levels okay now go to the training and just copy the level path and try to mention it here okay then you have to give the training image location and inside that it will create one file called trained annotation.json okay because this is going to be my uh, let's say main label file okay this is going to be a main label file guys so my uh, model will load this particular file and it will get all the information you can see it will get all the information so this is going to be my format and where i am sa saving this file i'm saving inside image folder now see here i've given the image folder okay image location okay you can see inside that it will create this file now let me execute so it will uh, create for my training you can see this file is created now i also need to do it for my validation as well as the test so again what you can do you can comment this line and you can uncomment this line so this is for the testing so let's perform for the testing see the same for the location only it, it should be inside test folder done i have to do it for my validation as well see now it will create another uh, annotation inside validation image okay validation annotation image done now if you want to see that you can open it up let's say if i open the image folder now here you will get this json file at the very last see this is the json file and now if i show you see this is the same format uh we already perform see the same format okay same form that means image image location prefix then you have uh that suffix as well as the location of that image okay i think it is clear now so that means we are successfully able to convert our data to the uh, florence format now we'll be starting our custom training but before that let me hmm. now uh, i'll be installing one package called pft okay that means parameter efficient fine tuning that means here we'll be loading the let's say uh, this florence 2 model and this is like very huge model okay so if i want to perform fine tuning operation so i can't actually do it on this kinds of machine okay so that's why we have to use the parametric efficient uh, training okay that means this particular package so this will load my model uh, as a quantized quantized model okay that means if you are having any kinds of bigger model and if you want to perform the fine tuning at that time you can use this pft okay pft uh, let's say library now let me import all the library all the necessary library i need now as i already showed you how we can get the florence model from the hugging face for this i need to install these are the package as well let me install so my installation is completed now let's uh, load this florence model now you can see it is having two kinds of variant like base and large i'm going to load the large model so it will load my model as well as the processor that means the tokenizer so it is downloading so let's wait so my model has loaded now see what i have to do i have to uh, load the data so for this actually uh, this is uh, the class actually this class will load the data the entire data okay uh, as a batches so let me execute so here is the batch size uh, number of workers also you can set as of now just keep it zero if you are not using multiple gpu so you can keep it zero you can increase and decrease the size as per your machine configuration so here i'm using free collab that's why i kept actually six uh see uh, now what will happen i have to load the data okay so to load the data i have to give the location of the data now see here one thing i have done uh you can see if you see the complete uh, training data it is having 2379 actually images here so uh, it will take actually lots of time to train even uh, uh, I, I was getting the memory issue that means it was not able to let's say load the data uh, in my memory because here if you see I, I got actually 12 GB RAM only okay 12 GB RAM only and 12 GB RAM is not enough uh, to fine-tune this uh, Florence 2 model okay 
So for this, you have to take the premium collab. That means collab pro access. But here I'm using free collab. That's why uh, it was giving me out of memory issue. Then what I did, I uh, used actually validation, uh, sorry, test image actually for the training. You can see. Okay. So you can see I'm giving the training, uh, testing image location. Okay. Testing image location. You can see I'm giving the testing image location. But if you're using pro collab, what you can do, you can uncomment this line and comment this line because you have to load your actual training data that time. Okay. So this is the small hack actually I'm performing. Uh, but again, actually, I was getting uh, like out of memory issue because I told you that this is a very, very huge model. So you can't do it with the help of free collab. So you need a collab pro access. But I will give you the entire idea how we can perform because all the code I have written here, you can only execute this code only. That's it. Now, this is the validation data I'm loading. You can see this is the uh, annotation file, JSON file, and this is the image location. Now, let me load, okay, with the help of data loader. Now I have to set my parameter efficient uh, fine tuning. Let's say parameter. That means I'm using LoRa here. Okay, you can use also uh, you can use LoRa. You can use Q LoRa. You can use anything. So this is the LoRa parameter. So this LoRa actually will load your model as a quantization. That means uh, let's say if your model size is very big and it is having like let's say lots of parameter. That time what this uh, LoRa will do? It will try to load all the weights in a quantized format. Okay, this is the idea. Now let me set all the configuration. Now you can see these are the trainable parameter you are having. Now uh, here I have written another function. You can see tolerance inference result. That means uh, if you check my previous video, I use the same function there just to test uh, on top of my image, like whatever image actually I'm having, I'm testing on top of my pretend model. Okay. That means I want to check whether it is able to detect something or not because it's a, let's say prompt based model that I created, right? Now see, I'm giving my validation data and I want to only see the detection. Okay, what kinds of detection it is giving me. Now, see, it is only able to detect this power plug. Okay, not this uh, meter actually. So now I have to do the fine tuning on top of the meter data. So this is the training loop guys. So this will perform the entire training. Now here you can see you can start the training uh, by executing this line of code. But here you will get one error called out of memory error because why I'm using free core app. See, uh, out of memory error. CUDA out of memory tried to allocate uh, that, that much of memory, but uh, you can see your capacity is not on that much. Okay, that's why it, it is giving me this out of memory issue. So you have to execute on top of this one, your uh, collab pro, then this will work fine. Okay, see after training, it will generate actually some of the weights. Okay, it will generate actually weights. That means the model. So here I created another actually, let's say collab notebook. So this is the testing collab notebook. That means inference on top, on top of my test data. Now again, you have to import all the library then you have to load this model, the checkpoint. Actually, this uh, the checkpoint actually will get after fine tuning. That checkpoint you can load. Okay, like that you can load. Then the same function I'm using for the inference. Okay, on top of my test data, I'm giving the prompt. That means the same thing, whatever things I explained here in this video, guys. Uh, in this video. So the same thing actually I'm performing. That means I'm loading the model. That means my train model right, right now I'm loading, not the pretend model. Got it? Then after that, actually, I was doing the detection. Now, see, this is the detection I'm getting. That means it is detecting oscilloscope. So I hope, guys, you got it. How we can perform the fine tuning operation on top of the custom data uh, with this uh, Florence 2 model. Okay. So yes, guys, this is all about. And this code would be available in the description section. From there, actually, you can download and you can test it. With that, thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you next time.